Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about if you visit Zagreb, Croatia, where you should stay at. And again, thanks for watching the video. Please like, please subscribe, and let's get started. If you're visiting Zagreb, just like many other of the European capitals, you're going to want to stay in what you call the Old Town or Central Square District, where basically this is like the central area of the capital. This is where a lot of people meet, mingle. This is where you're going to see a lot of bars, where you're going to see a lot of restaurants, and pretty much the point of contact if you're meeting with someone, because most of the activity is there. So specifically Zagreb, if you're visiting there, where you're going to want to stay at, and for anybody from Croatia, uh, you know, I'm going to totally uh, mispronounce this, but it's called the Vangelelic Square, and this is a square where it's a meeting point for anybody meeting, uh, especially the statue of um, the person that it's named after, and it's a big statue, and there that's where the public transportation trains run by and people come and get off there, they meet there, and then within walking distance, there's so many different uh, bars, restaurants, and I guess what classify it as well as the Old Town District in Zagreb. For anybody from Croatia, please correct me if I misread that, but basically right there, you can go to all the bars, you go to restaurants, there's many, um, activities going around around there so if you're staying and if you're going to uh, Zagreb and you're looking for a place to stay make sure to grab a Airbnb if you like staying in Airbnbs close to this area uh, at the time when I went it was about $35 a night US dollar a night so pretty good deal even if it's not right near or on the square uh, within a mile or so you can still find uh, Airbnbs I'm not sure about hotels um, hotels, you may they may be a little bit farther. Uh, usually, I stay in Airbnbs. Uh, most of the time, I'm not even in it. It's just a good place to stay because, for logistics wise, it's really good to have a location where you don't need to take an Uber or public transportation. Everything is within walking distance. So, if you're going to Zagreb, make sure to book an Airbnb on or very close by the Bonjello Square. And essentially, you can explore all of Zagreb from there as a good starting point. So guys, if any questions, please let me know if you need any other recommendations. But this was where I stayed at. And it was great logistics, having access to everything, and not ever needing to take a Uber or public transportation. Unless, you know, you look for up a restaurant that requires a little bit more of a drive. But for the most part, all the activities, everything you need to do is pretty much around here and that you can get to everything uh, just by walking from the square. So again, everyone, thanks so, much, thanks so much for watching the video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.